During the end of my mother's life, she required 24-hour care at home, um, and through the respite care services, we were able to actually have volunteers come into our home and give my dad the relief that he needed. It's so important for caregivers to get the care that they themselves need, and that is exactly what the respite program provides. Raising money is important because our programs aren't fully funded. This is a nonprofit organization, and so we rely so heavily on donations and fundraising to support the programs like the respite care program, the equipment loan pool, even our grief and support counseling. All of that comes at a very, very high cost in a way to actually provide meaningful care and support for families living with ALS. We rely so heavily locally on fundraising and then go beyond and you think about all of the research, look back at the Ice Bucket Challenge of 2014. Without that giant surge of fundraising, we would not have made such tremendous, tremendous strides since that time. My favorite part of the Walk to Defeat ALS is the finish line. <laughs> I love crossing the finish line, seeing the absolute joy, the feeling of hope, everyone coming back together, seeing one another, realizing that they just completed a 5K um, with their friends, with their family, and for just that little moment of time, being somewhere else in their head, coming back together, remembering what it's like to be with their families and be connected with one another. My hope for the ALS community is that one day, ALS becomes something that we can live with. Then I hope it becomes something that we do not have to live with because not only have we found meaningful treatment, but we've also found a cure. I walk in memory of my mother, Dee Dee Johnson.